all that red is positive vorticity. That means the air is lifting and it's active. Oh God, you guys, did you see we had tornado warnings yesterday in Western Washington? I'm meteorologist Shannon O'Donnell. I work at Como Television. I do the evening weather there. We have a winter storm watch. It's just frozen solid out there. The snow continues to fly. So in this class, we're trying to teach the students how to communicate the weather. And now it's gonna rain up there for a couple days. So just so everybody knows, prepare for that. There are lots of different ways to do that. Trying to deliver a message about science in boiling it down in a way that everybody can understand. Let's do a showers and sun breaks sort of day. There's the traditional way, you know, where you're working in front of a green screen. Hi, this is Hannah Krieg with the UW Dogcast. Today is going to be a rainy and gusty day. The camera, when it's in chroma key mode, is going to take anything green and turn it into the weather map. It's gonna be very difficult driving. As you can see, we have lots of showers coming in. The hardest thing is when you're looking at the camera, you're like, oh, I'm pointing this way. But it's very hard because you're like trying to gauge the distance. The way most young people get their weather forecast these days is on their phone, and social media has been the new way of communicating that. Okay, good, yeah, rainy. And then remember, what was the day we had some sun breaks in the afternoon to give some people some hope? It's really cool to be able to convey <laughs> scientific knowledge in a way that people can understand and relate to. It's just gonna be rainy for as far out as we can forecast. <laughs> it's information people need to know to plan their lives. Yeah.